So one of my biggest issues with Black Gods is its progression system, which I'll bring up here. When characters succeed at quests or win battles, they get astral points instead of experience points. It's the job of the player to spin those. Um, but they have to spin those on everything. So that includes attributes here. You can't buy them, but this character can buy more agility or more strength. She can buy anything. Um, they are also used on improving weapon skills, uh, passive buffs, spells, which she can't get, but super can. And uh, skills, and special abilities. Which none of these guys can buy right now, but we could get something like Vigilance, which lets you move without getting hit. Um, by putting all of these things in the same pool, it makes it extremely difficult to tell which of these is the best use of Astral Points. I would have to hover over and do all the math to figure out whether agility is, it would be better to get more agility or more sword skill or whatever. Um, they also get very pretty wild in terms of cost, like having another rank of perceptions, only 14 natural points, and another rank of swords is only 5. And this just kind of gives a feeling where the game dumping everything on you at once and force them to make decisions on details that you don't necessarily have the context to make good decisions about. And uh, it reminds me of the, the first Mass Effect with its inventory system specifically, where it just bombarded you with guns that you could use, or uh, also the way too many powers, and the way the Mass Effect games were a lot more efficient at giving you interesting choices of what to do. These aren't interesting choices, these are baffling too many choices. Uh, most RPGs tend to have these segmented somehow, like you can only get, uh, you can only use certain forms of experience points or skill points or whatever on certain Things. So, I would only be able to use swords and sabers. I would only be able to choose that with some things, and then I would also be able to choose something here. Alternately, RPGs like Skyrim uh, have you improved your practice, and that's not the case here. Uh, but improving, improving your practice gives you the ability to guide your character through some. Yeah. I think part of, part of the reason Black Arts is do that is that Black Arts is based off of pencil and paper RPG. Um, and that sort of limits the kinds of things that you can do. And also, it, it makes it so. The, um, video game. RPGs tend to be a lot faster pace when you have control of more characters all at once, as opposed to a slower pace but if it's a paper RPG, you know exactly what you want to do with one character you want to control. It. So by having three characters with all of these different choices, I can be overwhelmed because I'm constantly getting these, but I'm getting a third as many over time for only one character. Then it's not possible to, to comprehend exactly what I want to do with them. So I like a lot of what Black Arts has to do in terms of plot, combat, and setting, but it makes it a lot tougher as an RPG to recommend because this is just, there's just too much here. 